It's me, Carm. And me, Sarah. And we're SNC. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a craft. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be making our headpieces for our Halloween costume. Yeah. And should so we give it away? I mean, our Halloween costumes, it's gonna be pretty obvious from what you see that we're yes. making. So let's just say this piece is mine. And this piece is mine. So, I mean, it pretty much gives it yeah, away. Yeah, it does. We will reveal our costumes on the Halloween party. So, we're going to make these headdresses. Uh, there has been many DIYs posted on YouTube for this um, easy headband DIY. But um, our inspo was um, Amber Heard's Met Gala uh, piece. Sunbeam. Yeah, headdress. So, we'll show you what you need to make this DIY, and we'll show you us. Hump. Yeah, assembling, us, uh, it? assembling it and give you the breakdown costs. Okay. It really wasn't that expensive. Yeah, I know it was, uh, and it seems like it's going to be really easy to put together. Yeah, so let's get right into it. So uh, we'll walk you through each um, component that you need. So uh, the main thing is, of course, a headband. A headband. So we got this from the dollar store, and basically it had something attached to it, and we literally just ripped it off, and it's uh, perfectly fine. And I actually like that it's not uh, just metal; it's actually covered with a bit of satin. Yeah, it makes so. it a little com more comfy. more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Um, we got some zip ties, which is basically the main thing with what you'll need to make this headdress. Yes. And so we got different lengths. Yeah. To, to, to create the right sizes. effect. We used six inch and seven and a half inch. We got some glitter cardstock to cut out our shapes. And now this isn't an essential piece of the um, headdress, but we, we wanted, wanted to, to, uh, like to make to our costume very more obvious. distinct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we got three pieces of glitter cardstock because we also cut out some stars and then we got some star stickers Which yes. also aren't uh, essential to the DIY. Yes, these were definitely more of a splurge if you'd say mm -hmm. that they they kind of drove up the cost of, of the project of the project But we thought it made it more um, Distinct. Yeah, and uh, just more, like it had more effort Special. into it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and, and then, then some spray paint I it, got silver and I got gold and then of course you'll need a glue gun because and, yeah, that's how we're going to assemble the project. So uh, we'll flip the camera to show you uh, how we are going to assemble it. And but um, basically, yeah, this whole project costed us fifty-five dollars. Yeah, no more than that. So yeah, five dollars. I mean, two fifty in zip ties. One twenty. Five dollars each for the stickers. Two fifty for the headbands. And then the glitter paper. Uh, the glitter paper was three dollars each. each, so we got three. So that's about nine, nine dollars. And then and these the are what twenty dollars each? No, fifteen. Uh, with yeah, taxes. fifteen with yeah. taxes each. Yeah. So that was definitely the more costly one, but we're definitely not going to use the whole can of spray paint for these. Yeah. So in total, project. we spent fifty-five dollars, but we are not using everything for the project. And we've looked these up on Etsy, and they range 30, from like forty, fifty dollars yeah, to buy it. On to buy Etsy. So definitely just do the project yourself. Self. Yeah. So let's get started. like and now we're gonna spray paint spray, them. Spray. <laughs> <laughs>
So that was a really easy DIY. It really was. And I get now why the tutorial videos are like two minutes long. Yeah, well, you know, to be fair though, some, like some of the ones we've watched, because this was definitely our first time attempting this, they could have said more to help out with like, the process. With the process, yeah. Yeah, because we didn't know, like for instance, one of the things was like, double check that you're facing them the correct way, or like at least all in one direction so that yeah. you can choose what is your back and what is, is your, your front. front. Yeah, what you prefer. Yeah. Also, um, you know, for example, like we picked a fabric, a fabric band, um, and I definitely think that like oh, a, that's the helped. better choice. choice. Yeah, yeah, because it created its own form of um, like resistance. Spacing. Yeah, like spacing. Like so, in in other tutorials that we watched, like they were we, slipping and sliding off of that metal. Metal, and they had to they had to use hot glue After at every point, and that's just going to create more bulk and more like ridges along your head. Mm -hmm. Like at the end of the day, you still have to wear this, right? So. Yeah, like tip that we found probably helpful. Okay, and we don't know because we didn't make it with a metal one as well, but the fabric one from in comparison mm -hmm. seemed to work more. Uh, one more tip that I noticed based off of how we did ours was that I actually put things down on mine to dry overnight uh, after spray painting them and Sarah didn't. And there's definitely a difference. I would say another tip would be um, Adequate drying time. Yeah, you yeah, definitely don't be in a rush with this or don't mm -hmm. try to get it all done in one day Yeah, just another tip something that we found useful was the stickers that we talked about at mm -hmm. the beginning we, we were saying that it was a bit of a splurge and whatever, but it actually ended up making quite the impression Yes, yeah, it just added that extra detail mm -hmm. and and then that is also to say that you know we saw other ones of people who use like um, glitters and beads and mm -hmm. so and you know all that stuff can be found at like Dollar Tree. Tree. And you know what I was gonna say too to save on cost, not using a spray paint, but it, and it'd probably take more time, but acrylic paint. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this project was super simple. You wanna try them on? Yeah, let's try them on. Yeah, let's try them on. Yours looks good. It actually came out really good. Your, yours looks better. I don't know about that. Yours just look. I, I feel like, I yours, like yours you know what? Yours. I think it might look uh, a little better if the sun wasn't in two pieces. I feel like that. Yeah. Adds too much weight. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe if we had done it in the one piece. Oh yeah. Oh well, like, I think it still looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's only for one night, but yours looks really, yours is gonna match your dress really nice. So yeah, so that's gonna be fun to for that. Excited, yeah, to, to put it all together. Mm -hmm. And, and with all the jewelry that we the bought. The jewelry, and we have hair hairspray, spray, and oh, the makeup. Yeah, so stay tuned for the rest of the videos. We have a couple more videos coming. Yes, for well, how, centered around Halloween. Yep. So thanks for watching everyone. That is how you make your sunbeam and moonbeam headdress pieces inspired by Amber Heard's Met Gala um, headpiece. And if um, you liked this kind of content and want to see more of it, please hit that like button. It really helps us to know what you guys are enjoying. Also comment down below if you have any questions about the process or how we did something because it yeah. wasn't very clear. And let us know what you're being for Halloween. And don't forget to tune in to our Halloween party video which will be posted a few days before Halloween so you can see the unveiling of our costumes. Yeah, so subscribe to get notifications for that and be a part of the SNC family. So other than that, hope, hope to, to see, see you soon. soon.